Hello! Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I am going to show you how I do my eyebrows. Now, let me just preface this by saying I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not an expert, this is just what works for me. And so you, yeah, you just have to find what works best for you with products and your brow color and shape and all of that. So, we will get into it. Okay, let's uh, do this. Is it just me or do you guys feel naked without eyebrows on? <laughs> okay, we're going in with my IT Cosmetics brush and it has a spoolie on one side and an angle brush on the other side. So I just start by combing my brows kind of up and into place and now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Auburn. And I start with little small brush strokes kind of on the underside of my brow and kind of start filling it in there on the inner corner, like on the underneath, and then I go for the the small strokes, like hair-like strokes on my inner corner of my brow. And then I kind of connect the line there. I hope you can see what I'm talking about, but I want to create the shape for 50s brows kind of more pointed and full brow and so I want to I want to fill in that shape and just kind of use my brows as a guideline and then go from there I'm just taking the dip brow pomade through running it through my brows, I'm just filling in kind of the lighter areas or the spots where there's not as much hair. And since I'm using a shade that's not the same color as my eyebrow hairs, I go ahead and pull it through my entire eyebrow, not just the parts that I need to fill in. So now I've got kind of like a base down and now I'm going to move to the other brow and this eyebrow is kind of set out a little further than the other one so I have to fudge it a little on the inner corner and take it in a little bit so that it is even, so that it's evenly spaced with the other one. So you can tell I've, I have to go in quite a little bit and I just go ahead and do short little strokes with my angle brush and it's pretty fine tip angle brush that I use to try to simulate hair strokes, or hair, I guess. And I'm just doing the same thing on this one, trying to create that shape. And kind of a sculpted, high arching brow. You can see it kind of taking shape and then I just keep filling it in from there. Get a little bit more product when you need it. To be able to blend everything together and have it look even. Now I decided that the other brow needed a little bit more. You gotta just kind of keep going with it till you get them as even as possible. And I even still can tell watching this back that the right brow is a lot more full than the left. Um, but I mean, what do you do? Just do your best. That's all I can say. <laughs> Try to make them 
as similar as you can. <laughs> working on evening these out and now we're going to go in with a orange eyeshadow from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and it is this orange shade called Realgar. And I like to just brush this in lightly. Um, it just adds a more orange reddish tint to the auburn color. And I feel like it helps my brows match my hair even a little bit better. And so I don't use a ton of that powder, just enough to color them a little bit. It's a pretty subtle difference, but you can probably, I don't know if you can even see it very well on camera, it's hard sometimes to pick up the colors. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light, and I'm using the wax in that kit just to brush through my eyebrow hairs and make sure that they are going to stay in place. Really, you could use a brow gel at this point or um, anything that you have just to brush them into place. It's not really about the color at this point, it's just about keeping your brow hairs in line. So now I'm just doing finishing touches, just kind of trying to get them even, and like I said, they're not perfect, but this is the way I do them every single day, and these are the products I use, so hopefully this will help you. Thanks so much for watching my brow tutorial video. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because there's going to be a whole lot more vintage coming your way. Thanks.